The idea behind the MIM program is you need to know about the cultures you're doing business with. In our Masters of International Management program, students are exposed to how business is done differently in different countries, as well as, again, to understand how for many American corporations, uh, the global market has become absolutely essential part of, uh, of their economic well-being. In today's environment, uh, tough business and, and not very many resources and not a lot of money to go around to be wasted, uh, this kind of thing is hugely important. Population-wise, economy-wise, the big growth area right now is in Asia. You know, the words uh, international business are almost redundancy now. That to basically, if you're going to be in business, you're probably going to be in an international business. I mean, obviously, there are exceptions to restaurants and some of those things. But basically, uh, you're looking uh, to compete and be competed with by companies from around the world. Being about current events, or how these current events relate to historical events, and so with AOP, that experience was really enhanced because we were in a very intimate setting. In 1980, we went in there, and, and the uh, doing business in China was very, very difficult. That, uh, that uh, you would have to have the concurrence of five different ministries just to get pricing on a pair of shoes. It had always been Dr. O's philosophy that AOP should be a chance for students to be able to talk with someone who really has sort of the 30,000 foot view on what's happening, you know, in terms of international business. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to start by saying that the Thai economy today is weak and <coughs> very vulnerable. Again, they, they don't just hear lectures. They get the reception beforehand, they get to have meals with them, they get to know these people on a personal basis, and that's truly uh, something that students carry away as a, as a treasured gift um, beyond the program. Allowed us access to not only hear about them or hear from them, but to uh, interact with them, speak with them, and, and develop relationships oh. with them, actually. That's why I'm here. I want to hear from you <laughs> what you think and what you can come up with. And so some of the things that we're struggling with today is, is how do we truly become a global business? And then how do we take our software and make it available globally, but then localize it to the countries? Lectures that stand out, um, Joe Yoon, he's a senior U.S. diplomat, came and spoke to our, court, our cohort about the North Korea, South Korea tensions. You know, every once in a while you'll see a student kind of have an aha moment, like, oh right, I get that. It was really, really interesting. It was definitely an uh, exposure, I think, to a career path that I would have never thought that I'd be interested in. It was really in that class where I was like, you know what, though, uh, this, is what I, this is my place in business. I want to be at that crossroads of how does business and nonprofit work with each other, and that was something I wasn't anticipating. It shows you um, one, the importance of the program, that people are willing to come and to, to spend that time and to talk to the students. But two, it, it shows you the possibilities, that when you, when you focus and study and follow through with what you're supposed to do, that you can then go out into the world and hopefully be one of those leaders that comes back, like uh, Maria Bobnerath, who has been back um, to speak. I think she was based out of Europe, and she was working for Nike in corporate responsibility. And I just remember leaving that thinking, Oh my goodness, you're so cool. That's awesome. But I will say this as a, as a basic rule. I do not think companies succeed long term without being ethical. I really believe that. I mean, I can remember Frank Lorenzo at Eastern, Eastern Airlines getting up before a group at Stanford Business School and says, it's my job to screw labor before labor screws me. Well, Eastern Airlines is bankrupt today. <clears throat> Probably my very favorite was when Dr. Soon from Bausch Steel came. He's um, someone who was very successful in leading privatization efforts in China. You graduated from the university. You're not stupid. You graduated from the famous university. Of course, your intelligence is good. But honest, I will check you. Check you long time. <laughs> Not only one year, maybe three or five years, then give you very important job. In Chinese, honesty is very, very difficult to find. You know, Phil and Don, Frisbee and, and the others had a huge amount of um, foresight in so many years ago, I mean, it's been 20 years ago or more, of, of, of having the school have a play an MBA with an Asian focus and requiring language as well. 
um, he saw very early in the 90s before I think the rest of the business community here in Portland really began to understand how intertwined we are through outsourcing, through selling, through uh, transportation, etc. how completely intertwined uh, the Oregon and the Northwest economy is with particularly Asia. And I think when I go back and I talk to all of our alumni, the AOP speakers are, I mean, that's the one class that all of the students remember. Phil, I just want to thank you for your support. It's your foresight and leadership in doing business with Asia that has been a model for American business and has certainly been so important for the economic uh, future and, and present of Oregon. So thank you very much for supporting this program. From the bottom of my heart and as a, somebody who's helped to build MIM and uh, I want to say thank you so much for being part of that building effort and making it such a distinctive program. It, it, wasn't, it didn't seem like that long ago I was sitting out there, but when I was sitting out there, I never dreamed of doing business in Russia or the People's Republic of China. Truly half or more of the world was not available for me to do business in. That is no longer true. And it has changed not only geographically, but it's changed in the terms of the importance of speed and innovation, which is really made to order, I believe, for a young people mentality. I don't think I com compliment you on your choice of business as a major, if that's what most of you have done. I don't think there's been a more exciting time in all of history to be in the field of business. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.